And things just got interesting all over again. My god, it's like this game never stops. But it's gotta end sometime. Well, before we even entered, before we really even started the game, we were confronted by someone. Before the first cutscene even began. Well, where the hell are they? Right over at the house again. I know who it is, but I'm not going to say anything until it shows up. Maybe they're, the, maybe they're still at the flood plane. I think they wouldn't moved in that large amount of time is ridiculous, though. Where the hell they be? Here, whatever bed may be. Yep. Hey, I want to talk to you? Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. Stop somewhere. I think someone knows. Hey, big bro. What place? That's right. The attendant. Well. Hmm. Oh yeah, and Donaldco said I didn't look good. Hmm. Uh, um. That's it. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Now we're stirring up some mysteries, stirring up some questions. Wait for me. Yeah. Where is that motherfucker? They're gonna be behind this whole damned thing. Just sworn we had to go over here first. I think so because I don't see the attendant over at the gas station. Let's have a chat with Igor. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. This is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well.
That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An ore that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go! to the place where everything began. So now the real fun can start. Let's get the finale really started. Is this why first? Hmm. You know Namatane. You met those two? I ain't fucking done with you yet. Oh no. What did you do to me? shook my hand and afterwards who are you So the last battle wasn't enough for you? He has certainly have the powers I was expecting. I saw the potential you had within you. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting.
I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. Nami. Amino Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. And now, you face me with it. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Are you alright? Who is that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? W wait, don't tell me. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Okay, the others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell them this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. I guess this is going to be our last little trip into the other world. We're going to make sure that bitch doesn't do anything to our town. You guys remember what what a quiz was uh, early on in the game? Talking about Izanami and Izanagi? All right. Damn right. Come on, little fox. This is gonna be your last trip too. Something to tell the children. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That 
Amino something we beat said stuff like, we'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It's kind of sad that uh, this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Yeah. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. We're gonna need all the luck we can get. Dear lord. Let's pop in here and see if we can do anything else with our personas. One last boost or one last fusion. Let's see what we can do. Okay, who's the strongest? You. You. Hmm. Kinda of reminds me of Shakuamon from Digimon Season 2. But no, we gotta get something else. Something much stronger. Whoa. We even are we no, we're not even at level 77 yet. Get Saturnus. Right, nice. Definitely get a nice boost on him. Uh, we'll get rid of Jin, Neberos, and Michael for him. Fire boost. Damn. Okay, let's go for this. Of the Star Arcana. It's going to be our strongest one. Thus, if need be, we could always get the other personas back. And he ain't got no arms. No hands. There's something black in his stomach. Definitely gonna be powerful enough to take down anything inside that place. That's gonna help considering his weakness. Get rid of Aguila, considering we already have the Dines. Then there's Spillmaster. More magic and more endurance. That's nice. I believe Spillmaster allows you to do more, more casting for at least half of the. It's kind of what, what Yukiko has, but it's for a specific persona. 
Simple as that. Now with our badass persona, we can actually get moving. No. Search for Izanami. Won't take long. Because we're already here. Okay. Let's suit him up. Put them in the order I obtained them, so why not? I hope so. Ishihara Nakatsu. There's only nine floors of this place, so let's try and get through here as fast as possible. And I do believe there are too many bosses on the third and sixth floor. And we were actually here before, in, near the beginning of the game. So a couple things might look familiar to us. Mainly just the floor. But, anywho, about this place, you want to be at least level 75. Otherwise, you're going to be in a heap of trouble. Even, this is, even if this place is only nine floors, it can still kind of kick your ass. Looks like there's only one path to go through. I HATE BALLS! Thanks for telling me the damn weaknesses, you jerk. Saturnus, you're up. Burn them all. Damn. Again. Sweetness. What is that? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Gotta step 76. Oh, she finally gets the fire amp. Not that it really matters at this point. Um, do I really need Sal... I do need Salvation Knight. don't exactly need Meteorahan since this is actually better, but... I'll get rid of Fire Boost. Just... Just for simplicity. Right, Your strength is through the damn roof. Yes, more level, she get relaxing wave. I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna level up in this place a couple times at least. At least against those mini bosses. But yeah, we're near the end of this game. I guess I can finally start talking about it then. Uh, I really have to thank KZX for bringing this game to my attention. I mean, if not for him, I probably would have easily passed over this game. So I really have him to thank the most. And uh, I thank the GameStop for having it in stock for I bought it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is in my top five of any RPG that I've played. And I played a lot in my time. How high, how high would I put it? Uh, maybe three or four. I have played a couple RPGs I do prefer over this, but this one's so damn unique you can't help but love it. Okay, don't need that. Uh, as you already know about, about over the course of the game, my favorite character is Kanji. He is also my favorite social link because of how how his uh, progresses and the the things involved with it. Another good one would probably be Chie. Also my favorite female character. Um Yeah, the other other social links, some of them are okay and some of them just lead to a rather disappointing end. 
I never finished Eyes because, really, because she's a bitch. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't end up that way at the end of the social link, but I really, I really could care less about hers. I think the main characters are the most important, alongside the Dojima family. Evil balls! What should I hit first? And we got trees all over the goddamn place. Thank god I have that eagle eye on, because it is helping out tremendously. Hell, get rid of those trees. Set this sucker on fire! I do actually like Dojima's a lot because it's dealing with his uh, deceased wife and the fact that he hasn't been all that close with Nanako. So it's kind of have it has a real big family impact there. But Yosuke having to get over over uh, Saki Senpai finally at the tenth rank is kind of it's kind of ridiculous. You think by at least the fifth or the sixth he'd finally start to get over it. Yes, I have. Whatever it is, I'm going to stick this sword f so far up its rectum, it's not going to be... It ain't going to be pretty. Let's just say that. And then again, most swords up rectums aren't. <laughs> Bad Blobby. Oh, damn it, Blobby. Yeah, okay, we're not getting the hand filter. little gust of wind in your face. Very nice, Yosuke. Time to kick some ass. And like I said before on numerous occasions, I do prefer this. This game over Persona 3. I'm sorry if you do like that game, but the a couple of things do not sit well with me. Number one, the ending, and I'm not going to talk about it, considering I don't like spoiling things for people. Number two, is that you have no control over your party members. And that's what they fixed in Persona 3 Portable. And also giving you the opportunity to actually play as a female protagonist in the game. Uh, not yet, let's heal up first. There we go. Now we're ready to open the door and get on the floor. Probably won't kill a dinosaur. Nope, it's a minotaur. Bitch, I'll kick your ass just like I did your ugly eyeball. Boost up everyone's evasiveness. Something tells me I may have to make a trip or two out of this dungeon just so I can boost up my SP. Yikes. Okay, someone help her out, please. Healing. And it's the same damn enemy, you say. Gust of wind to the face. Damn. This should do some major damage. If it would hit. Oh god. I need healing, and I need it now. Thank you. I do not wish to die. 
actually doing quite well against this, despite nearly getting our asses killed. Thank you. Oh my god! I'll be right back. And we're back. Cheap ass fucking Minotaur. I swear to god I was done with this when we hit the Heaven Dungeon. It just never stops anymore. Why the fuck does he get the first shot? That one's immune to darkness. Oh, this game. How do you keep doing this to me? Thank God I missed that time. Whoa, Kanji, that was great. I got a little, I got a plan to fix his red wagon and then break it. Hello, Jin. Now you're not gonna be able to do a goddamn thing to me. This fight should not take long, especially with that. That I. That little uh, addition. He's still, he's still standing. After all that, I'm so glad they, they included that withstand, withstand attack move. Because without it, you're almost guaranteed to die in the later stages, especially this one. Damn, even at even at like level 75, you're still gonna get your ass reamed. Unless something like that happens. And it doesn't happen all that often. Ugh, that was an annoyance. Now can we kindly get to the end of this godforsaken dungeon? Oh, trust me, the only one suffering will be you. And I will make sure of that. What the hell kind of place is this anyway? I don't think it's based... I don't think it's really based off anything. All I know is that there's floating cubes in space. Bad lobby. Oh god, not her! Not the evil bitch! Someone's immune to fire. Nope, she ain't immune to wind. That's a good sign. Get rid of her immediately. This guy's definitely getting stronger. And I'm glad that he is. The exit should be around here. It's always it always seems to be around this area. Yep, there it is. Is there anything? Nope, nothing down there. Let's head off to the next floor. Nope, something doesn't ream us and choke us to death. I wouldn't exactly call it safety. It's safely. Oh, but you still make us go through nine fucking floors in order to get to your ass. That makes sense. I'll personally test your power, but not before you go through about nine fucking floors of bullshit. Seriously, go hump yourself. With a rake. And you kindly get your balls out of my face. Doom sword. Yeah, I'm keeping Jin on me. Because most of their attacks seem to be physically based. And just give him a little gust to see show who's boss. And then beat Stupid to death. 
Level 68, he gets Valiant Dance. Not all that great of a move, if you ask me. I believe all it does is just make your enemies go berserk. That's it. Soul drop. I'm this far in the game and they're giving me garbage items. Seriously, where the hell... Your loot system needs work. When you go up in level, you should get better stuff. It's not hard to comprehend. But then again, I guess that's why the gold chests are there. The hell, even though they can give you garbage. Yeah, that's that's a dodgy. She don't know me. She don't know Jack. What's inside this chest? Something useful for once? Ah, oh, Jeski. I never complain about those. Die. Right on the rebound. And we got birds. Okay. Nice dodge. Making the birds are weak to ice. And now they got those. A little lightning will take care of them. Oh, yeah, one of them. Loki, show them how cold you can really be. There we go. After all this, Saturnus still gets experience. My card. Important. I really don't see the point of them giving you items after a fight, considering you can't go to Daidara's and use them. They really should just give you more experience. Then again, they might have to make the enemies harder, and the enemies are hard enough as is. My god. You saw what the Minotaur did to me. And that was from one move. And yeah, we're finally on to the sixth path. Just three more floors and we'll meet up with the bitch behind all this madness. Because you're trying to exterminate humanity, you crazy bitch. You are dumb. Very dumb. And Rise was right. You are wrong! Why would anyone just want to live in ignorance like that? It's not how the world should work. And I get smack in the face. My balls! And more goddamn birds. In tiny things. At least I can get rid of the birds. Something at least. Oh, go right ahead. Yo, yo! I'll send you to hell! Suck it! Enemy defeated! Keep up the Blow them energy. out off the field. Turning up new ray guns. I don't know what it is, but they look adorable. Oh, they're weak to lightning. Yeah, let's do that again. Taking down a peg. I hope they don't enjoy fire. Yeah, they don't. Some more ice cubes for ya. At this point, it's going to be forever before Saturnus hits level 81. And I really don't want to have to wait that long. Anything past that point? Nope. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pain in the ass. 
Okay, let's see. What to do, what to do. Uh, the next, the next mini boss basically only has two tactics. Using Mahamon and using Megalodon. So it's definitely going to be a huge pain in the ass. I seriously don't want to deal with all this crap again. And unfortunately I don't have anyone with nullifications to uh, Hamon. Let's just go in and try to do our damnedest. And it's table! If I get killed by a fucking table, there will be screaming. Well, if I can't surpass the table, then I know I can't surpass you. Yes, I know. It's also immune to light. And bullshit, it gets two fucking turns! That is BS. Of course, if you cast Mahamon, my, my allies can't come to my fucking rescue. Which is bullshit. I think he knows. I'm like, you, he's actually on the field fighting. Dear God, give me strength. Good thing I switched. I think that only, uh, magical attacks are really gonna be enough for this guy. Well, it's not doing too much right now. We need a little bit of a boost. Okay, let's see, maybe I have to visit the Fox again. Oh god. I hate that shit, and the game keeps on pulling it out. It's cheap, and I don't like it. Burn the table to death. <laughs> this is pretty much your only tactic for the entire fight. Heal yourself up. You need it. But I do believe if you try to use a like something that reflects uh, magical attacks, it won't work because it's aiming for everyone. Which is again BS. At least the physical buff is in, still in effect. Well, it's not only a physical buff, it also buffs up magic. But dear God. Oh no. Get rid of that immediately. Otherwise, shit's gonna be hitting the fan. I think by this point, you probably should have a persona with. With, uh. The fuck am I trying to say here? Ow. Something that gets rid of fear. And of course, I'm not Ugh. Use this. Can't get those too often. Oh boy. To be honest, I'd rather do that than the other move. At least I can actually survive that move. Yeah, no there. Thank you. So I should have a level 80 persona at this point. More annoying than the final boss, god damn it. 77. Oh, 72. And 77 for you. Only at the end of the fight, of course.
Damn right. I ain't gonna die in the process, though. I'm telling you that right now. Should be smooth sailing from here on out. There's no more mini-bosses, and there's only her left. <sighs> it's enough to give a guy a stroke. Still, I hate... I'd hate to uh, give out on not learning Spellmaster, but I think that would take way too damn long. And just to be sure, let's check. Yeah, it's still going to take a while for Saturnus to learn that. Even though it is a very good move, it's going to take a while. It's a long ass hallway. Try to get to the end of this place without trying to kill ourselves. Maybe we can do a little bit of micro training before the big bad shows our ugly face. Just so I can learn uh, Spellmaster. Return to the Void. Where the fuck have I heard that before? Oh yeah, just Final Fantasy 3 and 5. You think because there's nothing, then there would be no trouble or no evil in the world. How dumb are you? Not only would you be killing the evil, you'd be killing the good along with it. God, I hate villains like that. They're so fucking brain dead. 